Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do beer stuff. Here. Mystery beers. That's what we're doing today. Um, this mystery beer comes courtesy of my boy Steven. He sent this off. Now we're going to drink it. Uh, mystery beers. Basically, I have no idea what they are. I'm kind of curious. Let's see what we have going on here. Um, this comes, like I said, from Steven when uh, we did Beer Tube of Palooza. He dropped a whole big box of beer on a bunch of us, and this be mine. Um, we have some new school wrapping here, which I've never seen before. Menus. I like this menus because it says pizza and wings. I'm very hungry for pizza and wings. Um, what is that? I mean, from a distance, it kind of makes me think it's a big beer. A lot of particular floating around. Very much kind of like either old beer or kind of Belgian esque kind of beer maybe something a little hefty maybe don't know pinky finger you know barely off white head with this just kind of orange marmalade kind of look very looks very much like a belgian triple uh kind of vibe to it it's good news yeah it's coming off more of like a like a belgian single um, a Belgian farmhouse ale. It's more farmhousey to, for me than anything else. Nothing too crazy. Soft little citru citrus notes that could be Brett derived as opposed to a hop thing. Uh, a little bit of soft sweetness, maybe a little bit of kind of like that kind of soft peppery cardamomy thing that you can get on kind of like a mixed culture kind of beer. Kind of done and done. You know, on the nose, I, I, by the look, I thought it was going to be something, you know, 8%, a little bit sweet. Now I'm kind of like, ah, oh, it might be a little bit lower. It might be more like a 5% kind of little tiny farmhouse jam in a can. Let's dive in. Cheers. What is that? I mean, that's the whole question here. It's a bittering to it. It's a little alcohol pop that makes me think this is a little bit higher ABV in that 7% range. It's somebody's farmhouse ale, some Belgian style farmhouse ale. You know what this reminds me of actually? To a certain extent, not as, it, it, this beer isn't that bittering nor as spicy. It's not, oh, this isn't overly spicy, but it has a little spice to it. it kind of reminds me of Tank 7 from Boulevard. I think a brewery's stab at that kind of beer. I think one of the last mystery beers that Steven sent me in a previous beer mail, I equated a brewery, a beer he sent to their version of Allagash's White. It's kind of the same vibe again here. This is very much a brewery's attempt at their version of Boulevard's Tank 7. So I think it's somebody's like six percent in change pushing seven percent um you know farmhouse style beer made in the united states with some belgian influence there is a little kind of off malt sweetness to this so i think i'm going to drop honey into the equation on this one too um, because I believe there is some, some kind of sweetness in this that is non-malt derived. It doesn't really taste like honey. Not that honey beers tend to add a bunch of honey to it. it tends to dry out a beer more than anything else because the yeast, the, um, the the bugs and whatnot in honey is the same thing that you use for brought beers and stuff like that. So it kind of makes sense because while this isn't overly sweet by any stretch of the imagination, it does finish dry. So I'm going to say it's somebody's um, farmhouse style ale, 6.9% with honey. Let's see how we did. Yeah. Yeah, very, very, like I said, very much Tank 7 E vibes. I don't think it, it's not Tank 7. But, um, fat Orange Cat. Okay. What do we have here? We have a Belgian style triple. So I should have won my original guns. Belgian style triple. 11.2%. 11 I would not have guessed that. Um, so yeah, it really is an Americanized version of a Belgian triple. There isn't that true Belgian yeast to it. Um, that would really make it, for me, 
like a Belgian triple. That sweetness that I was perceiving was probably a Belgian candied sugar added as opposed to a honey, so that kind of makes sense. It's called Dreamboat Abbey, by the way, for those keeping score at home. I think it's tasty. I don't mind the 11% because it's a Belgian style beer and those tend to be a little higher ABV, but I think this is quite fun. When I say the 7% farmhouse ale with honey, very close. Not really, but um, a fun beer nonetheless. And a cat on the turntable on a record. I should have known the last time you sent me one of these 12 ounces was a fat orange cat. Beer that time too, I believe. But yeah. Not too shabby, fun beer, and it's cool to see breweries like this, Fat Orange Cat, doing these kind of beers. Now, is this actually brewed at the brewery? Brewed and canned by Fat Orange Cat, North Haven. So, basically, Fat Orange Cat has their own facility where they brew beer, but they all their stuff, I believe, that goes in the cans in the market actually is out of 12%. Um, but it's cool that they're doing stuff like this out in the distro. Very, very cool. And I'm really curious about the price on this, Steven, so please down there let me know what you paid for it and let's talk about fat orange cat or let's talk about the beer first is it one of the better triples that i've had as of late americanized yes uh, true to triple at least from a yeast perspective i don't think it's really there but for an american stab at a triple not a lot of breweries do them this one's quite tasty i enjoy this beer let's break it down to its core i think this is a tasty jam just wish it was a lower abv but when it's belgian stuff you usually don't mind when it creeps up there um fat orange cat what's your uh, experience with them i've had a bunch of their stuff off shelves but it's been a while most of the stuff i've had from them has been variants of their kitten series their hazy series i haven't had a ton of their non ipa forward stuff sans what steven has given me so curious have you had this particular beer have you had some of their other stuff that isn't hazy stuff what do you think about their hazy stuff have you been to the brewery all those questions down there so there you go hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mystery beer you're more than welcome to send some off if you ever want to um contribute shoot me a message in the old social medias and hopefully see you next time cheers y'all